Welcome back, his army, to another episode of We Are One. You wanted the best and you got the best. The hottest KISS channel in the land. We are one. Welcome back to the Psycho Circus. We are one KISS army and we shout it out loud. Celebrating all eras of KISS history. While you're here, be sure to subscribe because you got nothing to lose. Be like Ace and give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell so no matter if it's tomorrow or tonight, you can get all you can take. It's kissing time once again, so let's raise our glasses and get into today's video. In today's video, we are taking a look at Steve Ferris talking about the Creatures of the Night solo. So we've known that Steve Ferris played on the Creatures of the Night album, specifically most known for that Creatures of the Night solo, and Steve, in a new recent interview with Guitar World, has detailed how that exactly went. So he gives us a good version of this story in the article, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. You played the solo on the title track. How did that go down? All right, so Steve says this, quote, I didn't say much. I just went in and played. But before that, I was introduced to the guitar player they were already with, Bob Kulik. I met him for a minute, and he was a nice guy. But he left, and I entered a room with a big Marshall amp and cables on the floor to plug in. I had a Fender Strat with me, and I was told they'd count me into the bridge for a song they were doing, which was called Creatures of the Night. So I'm standing there, and they counted me in, and I ripped through the first solo that came to mind. I finished, and they stopped the tape. And Paul went to me, he says, Dude, will you wear high heels? I laughed and I said, I can try. And that take is what you hear on the record. No second take. That was it. From top to bottom, I blew it away. I didn't join because I couldn't sing, but it was still a blast. So right there, one take. One single take for that. That is very impressive, and that reminds me of the story of Ace on Strange Ways, where he didn't have a solo mapped out, he just kind of closed his eyes and went for it, and that's the take that ended up on the album for Hotter Than Hell. So that reminds me of that. Creatures of the Night, that solo is a fantastic solo. It is one of my favorites on that album, for sure, if not my favorite solo on that album. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, God gave rock and roll to you, and God bless you.